Hello, Cancer. Thanks for joining us over here. I may have, should have mentioned um, in the first part of the reading that you can probably hear Chloe snoring. Uh, and sure enough, because she wasn't in view here in the film, someone is bound to comment who's snoring in the background. Bottom of the deck, overall energy for you is wish fulfillment. Gotta love it. Let's do a real quick recap. These were riddles. One riddle gets answered. Another one is asked. One question answered brings more questions. But you're following your intuition. With these answers are these little lightning strikes from the universe through this dense force that you've been walking through. Oh my God, I've lost my mind. It's in this hand. I'm looking all over for the, it's right here in my hand. These lightning strikes, here you are walking through that dense forest, uh, being guided, you got the bear guide here and these epiphanies, this lightning, these uh, signs leading the way. The next step is here, the next step is there. And for some of you, you're headed straight into greatness. You are getting a lot of attention. Whatever you're doing, Cancer, you're, you're getting attention for it. You're in future. For you single Cancers, it's like I am not going to get into any relationship that has nothing to offer me. I'm not going to give without receiving. Some of you are actually becoming very strong with that sense of no more giving out without you know like what's in it for me really you want that from me what's in it for me so there's a balance that you're coming into you're moving towards abundance for those of you who are connected there's going to be an understanding that levels up in your partnership where uh, there's more equal give and take and you move together towards that abundance this significant other uh there's passionate messages going back and forth. They see you as an empress. Birthing something new. They want to birth something new with you. Let's throw these up. Oh, I like this. I like the looks of this. Whoops, you belong there. Okay. Okay. Let's skip to the end with that tower card. And I said I didn't think it was a bad thing. I think that's the lightning strike that we saw in the shaman deck lighting the way for you. Um, some of you are going to be very uh, noticed in public. Public notice. And here you are preparing to conquer new mountains. So what that lightning is revealing to you are the new opportunities that inspire you to passion. Okay, back to the beginning. Building a solid foundation for yourself. You don't need help, but you get help. You've got help here. Someone who has been an advisor, a friend, a lover, but speaking, you know, logically, head over heart, um, bringing into clarity for you, helping to bring clarity for you. helping you to build that solid foundation, that they seem to have some kind of an influence. It could be a family member, a close friend, and as I said, a lover, but you're discussing it on a level that's not, you know, we don't discuss business on our backs. Yeah, this this person who is, oh yeah, this, this person is important. They may not be showing emotion. You might be having these marvelous discussions with them. Uh, but they're guiding you, helping you, inspiring you towards all these thought patterns, all the brainstorming, all the discussions and chats that you're having with this person is not only helping you to gain that foundation and strengthen that path to your legacy. They seem to be the legacy. This is a soulmate. Um, is it a lover? 
not necessarily, but very well could end up being that. No three-party situations here. Thank you very much. You're ready to expand, but you're not ready to celebrate. I'm getting the feeling here, uh, Cancer, that you're on to something. You're ready to expand. Uh, you're strong. You've got a lot of willpower to go after and get what you're going after to get. And you know it's going to be successful. But you're saying to yourself, well, we're not going to break the champagne out just yet. You have victory here. Uh, there's no competition. There's victory. Whatever, whatever inner or outer conflicts you had, there's victory. Be careful that you're not getting involved with a person who is a player. Um, but there is some passion here. There is passion here. You're going to have victory. No doubt about it. Uh, some barriers are coming down in order for you to... Choose love. So when you make this choice in love, you're letting some... You're, you're allowing yourself to be vulnerable. Isn't that nice? Uh, healing... There is psychic, spiritual connection with this person. Coming out of your head, you're not uh, going to, if you're in worry of any kind, you're coming out of that. Making a decision to take control of your own life so that you can sleep at night. Uh, you've been through, yeah, you were stuck. Uh, but you're coming out of this spiritual healing, ready to take that leap of faith. It's like you're in, you're in this position. This position where you tear off the mask, tear off the chains and make the leap, uh, taking the band-aid off to let the air get at it and then feel that wind just blow through your hair, that kind of thing. Someone is charging straight at you. You could be charging straight at someone doing this leap of faith of yours and going right after them. Going for the jugular, and I, I mean that in a loving way, passionate way. Uh, but someone is racing towards you. Uh, they are so turned on by you, Cancer. It's un Or this is you charging towards your goals. Going after what you want and getting it. Truth coming out. Being very blunt about it, too matter of fact so whatever grief this was that you had laid the burdens down in the past for you have this love coming in it could be from another water sign uh, not necessarily the energies that are surrounding this person is one of wisdom they are spiritually connected with you they are compassionate their emotions are they're in control of their emotions you could be taking on that energy Laying down your burdens. I'm not going to get emotional about it, but I'm laying down those burdens. And then, of course, we spoke about the last, which was the preparation of going after this dream that you have. Because all of a sudden, there's these lightning strikes of uh, spirit guiding the way. We'll do it this way. Empress, birthing something new. You're on, it's, it's almost like a vision quest. You already see the quest. Oh, this, the question's three. What is your name? What is your quest? What is your favorite color? Never mind the size of your shoes. Options. Oh, nice. I see revenue streams. More than one revenue stream. That you have all these options? I don't see you being too confused about that. The only confusion here might be as to how to implement these revenue streams. Another one's coming in. Could be many coming in for you this year. Yeah, this person, the significant other, either feels victory in love with you or wants victory in love with you. This person is rushing in. Here it comes again, that 
knight of swords rushing in to speak a truth to you. And this person helps to put thoughts in order. Uh, they've been more of a friend, maybe, than a lover. Uh, but they want to work with you. So this could end up being a business partner. Someone who admires you, looks up to you. This, there's a, you may have spent other lifetimes together. This is soulmate material. Not necessarily sexual. You took a different path. But you know where your ships are coming in from now. You're uh, not exposing anything to anyone about some plans you're up to, which have to do with victory in love. Wanting to be vulnerable. You're afraid that if you allow yourself to be vulnerable that you might end up stuck again. But not so. There, Are you dealing with an air sign because the king of swords has showed up twice, three times, and the Knight of Swords. You are in preparation right now to make those that leap of faith. Um, whether you're going on a trip or you're leveling up, um, adding another revenue stream into the picture. Uh, but you've been preparing for this. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Hot times. You're attractive. This person is rushing right at you. Uh, they want to just slam you right up against the wall. The attraction is so powerful. They can't even help themselves. Uh, they want... They want you heart, body, and soul. They want to have a physical relationship with you. Big time. Uh, you've laid down your burdens. This king of love comes in and so does the ten of pentacles so you won't be working alone this person who you end up being inspired by that helps you on this road to your ten of pentacles has a deep love for you even though they're not showing it and this path is opening up for you now uh, lightning served its purpose now part of that lightning might have hurt a bit you know cauterized a wound but it's opening, it's lifting the fog. You're spilling the wine that turned to vinegar. Uh, the year ahead is going to be prosperous for you. See the rabbit, fertility. You're leaving this barrenness of this to walk your path. And the promise of, can you see the fruit? The promise of fruition coming to you. Nice, Cancer. Very nice. So let's get a little therapy going for you before we ask the love oracles what's going on in the romantic life of Cancer. What is the advice for Cancer regarding this reading for the next couple of weeks? Better stop there because they're kind of flying. We're talking about, oh boy, the rise of the Kundalini. The rise of the Kundalini. So I'm going to do this. Here's the uh, root chakra. That's a, whoops, that's a singing bowl. And it's the root chakra. And I plan to collect them all. We have the base chakra, root chakra. Choose only positive thoughts to describe your home, career, finances, as your words determine your outcome. I think most of you know that, Cancer. Next is your sacral chakra. You are highly sensitive to chemicals, additives, processed food, and ener energies right now. Respect your sensitivities by avoiding harsh items, situations, and relationships. And then the crown chakra. Pay attention to your ideas as they are messages of true divine guidance sent in answer to your prayers. This may be a... Uh, a love relationship you're having with your higher self, with this king of swords, keeps showing up and giving you this advice, helping you towards your ten of pentacles, um, ideas. So we have three of the six chakras showing up here in your reading. Three of the six. Wow. The rise of the kundalini. 
I think, Cancer, you're headed into a very passionate union with someone. They are triggering the rise of this Kundalini. The final card for therapy was vegetarian or vegan. This is more of the advice of uh, cleansing, detoxing energies. So try it for a week. Try it for a day. Fresh organic fruits, vegetables, it will boost uh, that high life force energy and it elevates your spiritual journey. Very nice, Cancer. Everyone so far has had an excellent forecast reading with all these, oh, son of a gun, these planetary shifts that have taken place. Um, we have the, the way the planets are lining up this year are will be demonstrative of our prosperity and the help that we have. So for the final deck, we're going to look at a final outcome regarding love, romance, and advice. What is the final outcome for cancer regarding love and advice? Final outcome for cancer in the next couple of weeks regarding love and advice. Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit fun to shine. So yeah, have fun, cancer. Absolutely have fun. I mean, you're drawing attention like nuts here. Attracting a lot of attention. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. I mean, after all, you didn't expect a king of swords. You were probably expecting a page. Time apart from the partner is on the horizon. So this is probably, um, if you're not already in separation, this could be because you're busy on projects. This could be an ending of an old relationship. But here you are. Pay attention to the red flags. And I think these red flags have everything to do with those tower moments, those flashings, bolts of lightning, because the angels have gathered around to gather their energies together to push out this, push out these revelations to you, to literally light the way so you can cross that bridge of death. Beautiful. I hope you enjoyed that cancer i hope and wish a beautiful two weeks ahead for you god bless you thank you for your love and support you don't have to do anything else but be a member uh, to be in that hat draw for gems in the future bye for now